Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here. In today's video, I'm gonna go over how to unlock the free beam smasher from Terminus Island. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is turn on the power. Now that's pretty straightforward, so I'm just gonna get that done and then I will start going over the steps for this. All right, so we've got the power on, so we're gonna activate the lift here. Go ahead and pack a punch my gun. Now the first thing we're gonna need to do is get dead wire detonators. So I'm gonna come over here to this machine. Get dead wire. And we're gonna need to shoot some electrical boxes. And the first three are gonna be here. So there's one, there's two, and the third one is gonna be within this room. Now you do have to shoot them in this, the correct order, and you will see why. Oh, might as well take that. I'm going to activate the lift here. And so when you shoot this first one, the electricity will transfer, and then transfer, and then transfer. So there's the first three. And then the next two are going to be down over here at living quarters. But I'm going to first kind of clean up this round. So there's one... But here's the next one we shoot. But I'm going to first clear up this round and get it down to, like, one zombie. Okay, so I've got this down to one zombie here. So we're going to shoot that one. We're going to shoot this one, which opens up this door here. I'm going to go ahead and kill this zombie. And it will drop this EMF fob. So we're going to pick that up. And then we need to go interact with three laptops. Now the first of the laptops is going to be below C Tower here, and you do need to interact with these in order. They are labeled X, Y, and Z. So down here below C Tower, you'll see X, so we're going to interact with that. You can see it is here on the map. Next one, kind of off to the side of the lift here, just outside of the spawn building at storage area. You will see why. So here on the map. And then the last one at communications here. We see Z. So here on the map. Go ahead and interact that. And then we need to head back to C Tower to grab something. So in C Tower here, this briefcase that has the hand, you're going to open that up and grab this resonator, which will spawn these spiders, but they go down pretty quickly, especially because they kind of spawn in a row. And then you're going to run back across this bridge here. We're going to want to grab this battery and then head back to the room that was unlocked through the dead wire step and interact with this computer. Now the numbers. So you're going to interact here, and to get the digit, you need to solve these equations here. And to solve them, X is going to be this symbol here, and the way you read this is tens digit, ones digit. So this is 20. So X is going to be 20, Y is going to be 21, and Z is going to be 0. So here, 20 times 2, that's 40, plus 11, so 51. Then we said Z was 0, so this is 22 minus 5, so that is, uh, oh my gosh, I'm down to blank, 17. And then the last one, this was 22 plus nothing minus 21, so 1. Shit, I have to rethink this. Or my math is wrong. <laughs> oh gosh, what did I do? Uh, X is... Oh, 20. I think I did 21. Did I do 20 or 21? Uh, y, y is 21. Oh, I was using 22. <laughs> uh, that's my mistake. Okay. Hey, 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 there we go. Now, if you don't want to do any of that math, you can come back up here. And also, if you notice, while you are attempting that, 
the zombies will not attack you so if you're by yourself don't feel like you need to be rushed but if you don't want to solve the math or make mistakes like i did you can bribe dr peck with 5000 essence and the numbers will pop up here so you'll have the numbers that way but what we need to do now after you've entered the numbers You'll see this is a map of Terminus, so it matches up with this, and we need this to stop on one of the islands to tell us where to go next. And to do that, we're going to trigger the next round. Alright, so it's going to point over to this island. Do not forget to pick up the resonator, we're going to need that. And now I'm going to travel over to that island. Alright, so over on this island you will now see this orb which we are going to go interact with, which will drop the resonator, which will spawn a bunch of zombies, and then this resonator, or this orb, will turn a zombie. There it goes. So we want to kill that one, and then grab this orb, walk it over here, deposit it, and it should do it one, maybe two more times. There we go. Gonna grab this. Drop it in there. And it will fly off. Now, don't forget, you gotta pick this back up. Now we're gonna follow that orb. Alright, so now we are at this island here. Same thing, drop the resonator off, it will turn some a zombie, and then we're going to grab the orb from it. Now the unfortunate part about this spot is it spawns a lot of these flying z zombies, the, the bugs, and man, they are just tough to deal with. They do so much damage, and they it's like an infinite spawn of them. <laughs> Turned a zombie yet? Oh, there it goes. Perfect. Grab you. Oh boy. Are you gonna move? Yes. Alright. So we're gonna grab that and follow it to the last location. Alright, so here we are at the last location. And we're gonna drop off the resonator. There we go. Nice. Grab you. Yeah. All right. One more. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Grab that. Bring it on in here. Oh, don't go down. Thank goodness. Come over here. Where's that resonator? Here we go. Pick up that resonator, or the amp now. Now we can head on back to that room with the computer. Alright, so now that we're back here, that was all the parts that we needed, so we're going to go ahead and craft. And there we go. The free wonder weapon. The beam smasher. <laughs> so, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Until the next one, peace.